Welcome to my channel I aim to upload these news top 10 summaries daily. Links to all articles in the description if one grabs your attention. From Metro under the main headline of UK finally opens doors to Ukrainian refugees but with limit. On their stay. Summary of headline article. Communities Secretary Michael Gove told MPs there will be no limit to the number of people who can benefit from the Homes for Ukraine plan. UK sponsors will be asked to sign up for six months and will receive a tax-free £350 allowance to help offset the costs. The policy offers refugees a place to stay for up to three years but it's unclear what will happen beyond that date, she said. Recent statistics from the National Crime Agency estimate there are at least 6,000 to 8,000 modern slavery offenders in the UK. Setting refugees up in homes around the UK is not the end of the story. From the Guardian under the main headline of squatters surrounded on balcony of Oleg Deripaska Euro S. London Mansion. Summary of headline article. Four squatters who have been surrounded by police on the balcony of a central London mansion owned by the oligarch Oleg Deripaska say they have made their peace with getting arrested. The squatters broke into the property in Belgrave Square at about 1 a.m. on Monday and declared that it belongs to Ukrainian refugees. Photograph. Graham Robertson. The Guardian The Squatters also criticised UK banks and parts of the establishment that they say have allowed oligarchs to launder their billions in London. They declined to say how they got into Deripaska's property but said it required climbing skills. And, squatters magic. Offices remain at the location. This is not the first time squatters have occupied an oligarchs. London Mansion. From the Sun under the main headline of NATO masses 30,000 troops. Summary of headline article. NATO has amassed 30,000 troops and 50 warships near Russia's border for military exercises. Risking Mad Vlad's rage. The largest NATO exercise which is held just a few miles from the Russian border was planned long. Before Moscow's invasion of Ukraine but its significance has now been heightened. Even if just a single tokap of a Russian soldier steps into NATO territory. Then it will be war with Russia and NATO would respond. Any kind of attack. Anything that touches NATO territory or impacts NATO in any significant way. Then we would respond. Six armored vehicles arrive in Fredrikstad. Norway. For the drill credit. AFP6 the NATO naval power credit. Twitter. The Brit 966 the drill may cause the rage of the Russian leader credit. AFP. From the Guardian under the main headline of Ukraine war. Civilians leave Mariupol via humanitarian corridor. Russian ex-foreign minister calls for ceasefire a euro. Latest news. Summary of headline article. 1604 Ukraine's Prime Minister Denis Shmyl has urged the Council of Europe to expel Russia from its ranks in what would be a historic first at the human rights body. Jennifer Rankin reports. Ukraine demanded Russia to be ousted from the Council of Europe. He said. Because they could not stay, in this single European family where human life is the highest value. Russia announced on Friday it would leave the Council of Europe. Shortly before it was stripped of its voting rights. But no country has ever been expelled from the human rights body. Founded in the ashes of World War II in 1949. The Council of Europe is due to take a decision on Russia's future in the organization on Tuesday. From Daily Star under the main headline of Lewis Hamilton changing his name so mother's surname lives on as part of legacy. Summary of headline article. 
Lewis Hamilton has announced that he intends to change his last name so that his mum's legacy can live on. The Mercedes star wants to change his name to include La Bailesti, his mum's surname. Because I don't really fully understand the whole idea of why. When people get married, the woman loses her name. It comes after Martin Brundle urged the seven-time world champion to not let the controversy in Abu Dhabi affect him. He is physically in great shape and I think he'll be a force of nature when he comes back. From BBC under the main headline of Ukraine war. Pregnant woman and baby die after hospital shelled. Summary of headline article. When it became clear to them that the child was stillborn. They tried to resuscitate the mother. But realized after 30 minutes that it was hopeless. From the sun under the main headline of Ukrainian troops blow up Russian tank. Summary of headline article. Dramatic call of duty style footage shows the moment Ukrainian troops blast a Russian tank. Vladimir Putin's troops can be seen cowering behind the vehicle which has the distinctive Russian Z. Marking on it. Suddenly they see another Russian tank right in front of them and immediately open fire. Blasting the turret off. Other rounds fired soon obliterate the tank which explodes in a hail of gunfire as Russian troops. Cower behind it. Posted online. The clip shows what appears to show one of the convoys being obliterated as Russian troops quickly. Scatter. From Mail Online under the main headline of Commonwealth Day. Queen issues message as other royals attend service. Summary of headline article. Advertisement Prince Charles. Camilla. Prince William and Kate represented the Queen at the Commonwealth service today after the 95-year-old monarch missed the event at Westminster Abbey for the first time in nearly a decade. The head of state's Commonwealth Day message was issued by Buckingham Palace today ahead of the annual service. The news comes after the monarch was forced to pull out of today's Commonwealth service. Before that, the Queen had not been absent from a Commonwealth Day observance service for 20 years. The last time being when she had flu in 1993. Organized by the Royal Commonwealth Society. The service will feature the Queen's Commonwealth Day message. From Mail Online under the main headline of Elon Musk wants to fight Putin. Summary of headline article. Tesla founder Elon Musk has challenged Russian President Vladimir Putin to a fight over Ukraine in an early morning Twitter dump that included memes about the invasion and references to Macbeth. I hereby challenge Vladimir Putin to single combat, Musk tweeted Monday. Typing Putin's name in Russian. The Russian president is a judo black belt and even co-authored a book about the sport. Titled, Judo. History. Theory. Practice. Elon Musk has challenged Russian President Vladimir Putin to a fight over Ukraine on Twitter Putin, who is renowned for his love of judo, may have an advantage in hand-to-hand -hand combat he hereby challenge Vladimir Putin to single combat. Musk tweeted on Monday, typing Putin's name in Russian. That same day, Musk tweeted a link to a successful SpaceX launch followed by the words American broomstick, along with American flag emojis. From the Telegraph under the main headline of swapping Russian gas for Saudi oil is not the answer. Summary of headline article. We've noticed your ad blocking. We rely on advertising to help fund our award-winning journalism. We urge you to turn off your ad blocker for the Telegraph website so that you can continue to access our quality content in the future. Thank you for your support. Many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get your daily notifications. Have a great day. Thank you for your support. Goodbye.